Hello and welcome to the news recap here on News Ghana Club with me, Hegel Fisono. Coming up in this bulletin, we bring you some updates on the NDC presidential primaries where counting has already started. And also in business finance ministry to liquidate men's gold to pay off locked investments of customers. And on the international scene, we take you to Nigeria as a go to the polls. Details of these and more coming up, please this day. Thanks for saying. Let's start with our first story where the NDC presidential primaries has ended and provisional results strictly in so far shows former President John Dramani Mahama taking a lead in the context of seven men. Provisional results from the body constituency in the western region shows former President Mahama winning with a huge margin of over 600 votes. Do well to follow us on our Facebook page on News Ghana Clock as we bring you more updates as the results continue to trickle in. Let's do other stories where the leader of the John Mahama campaign team, John Ehene Ejekum, has rejected suggestions of vote buying ahead of the primaries. Now, some flag bearer aspirants cited Mr. Mahama Steve's decision to provide food and transportation for the delegates, thereby raising concerns of possible vote buying. We move away from that as President Akufado has called on leaders of the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress to immediately dialogue to disband all political vigilante groups. He made this known when he delivered his third State of the Nation address in Parliament on February 21, 2019. I want to use the platform of this message to make a sincere, passionate appeal to the leaders of the two main political parties in our country, NPP and NDC, to come together as soon as possible, preferably next week, to agree on appropriate measures to bring an end to this worrying and unacceptable phenomenon of vigilantism in our country. <laughs> How long on this particular story where former President John Mahama has described President Ekufado's call for the two political parties to dialogue on disbanding political vigilante groups as too simplistic. Now, according to the former president, the menace has become complex. Therefore, other players must be brought on board to solve this problem. Let's stay a while longer on the State of the Nation address as President Ekufado has announced that major celebrations to mark the Ghana Independence Day celebration anniversary will take place in the northern regional capital, Tamale. In order to reinforce and support the process of reconciliation, the resolution of peace in Gabon, I have decided that this year, the official 62nd Independence Day celebration will be held in Tamale on 6th March. Yeah. This will be the first time in our nation's history that the celebration is being held outside of our national capital of Accra. We do our final major story where government has announced plans to construct a dam at Polugu in the Upper East region to divert water from the dam in Burkina Faso. Now this forms part of plans to prevent the recurrence of the destructive effects of the spillage of the Bagri Dam. We're putting in place plans to avert the perennial flooding caused by the spillage of the Bagri Dam, which has resulted in the constant loss of lives and property over the year. In the short term, the sorting of the white water will be undertaken this year. In conjunction with discussions with the Burkina Bays to regulate the flow of the spirit and mitigate its impact. The Ministry of Works and Housing will in the coming week receive a report on a feasibility study conducted by the Chinese company Saido Hydro for the construction of a dam at Guadalupe to serve as a receptacle to hold the volume of water spilled from the back right now for irrigation purposes and also for the generation of electricity. This will be the permanent solution to the back right down problem. The requisite approvals will be sought by the Ministry for Cabinet and Parliament to permit the beginning of the construction of the Pablo Dam. 
that's all for the media news bulletin. Next is business. Every day something new happens. Something new about what a member of a political party has said. Wondering whether the inflated service has affected fuel prices or your business. Are you thinking of how to get updated in the world of sports both locally and internationally? Or who's stranding on both the entertainment and international circles? If your answer is yes to all these and more, then we have got you covered right here on this, our platform. Join us this and every weekend on Facebook and on YouTube as we provide you with a smart recap of all stories that made headlines within the week. My name is Kweku Ediyama Ansa. And I am Hega Ofosua. And, and this, this is News Recap, recap on, on News Ghana, Ghana Clock. News Ghana, Ghana Clock. News as it takes. Welcome back from the break. Let's do some business stories now. Proudly brought to you by Amelens Photos. And now to our first business story. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has set March ending as a date for its executive board to carry out its final review of Ghana's program before approving of its exit. A pass would lead to the successful conclusion of the program on April 3, 2019. Let's do a final business story where the Minister of Finance, Mr. Ken Oforiata, has said that his ministry is to set up a committee to liquidate men's gold and proceeds given to those whose large money is with the company. According to him, his outfit has come to the realization that there was an outstanding lodgement of over 200 million Guinean CDs with the company. That's all for business. Next is International News. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. You're still watching News Recap here on News Ghana Clock. Let's do some international stories. Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari says he will congratulate himself at the end of today's election because he was going to emerge victorious. His main opponent, Atiku Abu Bakar, after voting, also said that he was looking forward to a successful transition. That's all for international news. Let's take a quick dive into the area of sports. President Nanado Dankwa Kufuadu has revealed that fans have been released for the conclusion of the abandoned University of Ghana Sports Stadium. The construction of the stadium was started in 2004 under the John and in the former president John Ajikun Kufo administration, he made this while delivering his third State of the Nation address. We are renovating and upgrading our sporting infrastructure, such as the Accra Kenko Sports Stadium and the Azuma Nelson Sports Complex in Ganesha, and the complete refurbishment of the sports facilities across the country. <laughs> for, funds have also been released. The completion of the University of Ghana Sports Stadium started by the former NPP government, but abandoned soon after 2009. Oh, and in entertainment, President Akufado has, in his third State of the Nation address, disclosed that several tourist sites, including Elmina Heritage Bay, that the Tekwashikoko Farm, and the Kentampo Waterfalls, are undergoing upgrades. According to the President, this would ensure world class standards to set and maintain all tourism sites. Several tourist sites, including Elmina Heritage Bay, at St. Fort St. Antonio. At St. Mansour Slave River, the Tepashi Coco Farm, Bosu Abrotu, Kintampo Waterfall are undergoing upgrades. The draft legislative instrument on site and attractions is currently undergoing final stakeholder consultation. This will ensure world class standards are set and maintained at all tourism sites and attractions. That's all the news on News Recap for this week. Thanks so much for making time. Remember the news was produced by Amelens Media Communications and proudly sponsored by Amelens Photos. Contact Amelens Photos for coverage of your weddings, birthday, parties and all other photography events. My name again is Hega Ofosua and it's always been a pleasure serving you. Do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel on News Ghana Clock and also on Facebook on News Ghana Clock. Thanks so much for watching.